Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Tube Tycoon. Bird Brain over here is doing relatively well, I gotta say. 13.4 subs, 2,000 money, 197 videos in total, and we're in month or day 56, whichever you're gonna look at it over here. Uh, let's go into a tag here. We have, what do we have today? We have from Freaks On. Get my freak on over here, you know what I'm saying, baby? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to stop right now because that's actually really perverse. Um, hello, I'd like to invite you to record a tag on what if I will die? What if I will die tomorrow? What does that mean? What if I will die tomorrow? <laughs> uh, do you do you know something I don't know? Are you are you telling me this for a reason? I don't want to die yet, dog. I'm not ready for that shit, man. <laughs> I'm having a good time in life right now. Don't let it come to an end just now. Let's record this one right now and let's see. Um, record some games over here. We'll do Grand Theft Vehicle number seven and we'll also do some of the old light souls 2 speaking of light souls 2 i'm excited because dark souls 2 is about to uh, not dark souls 2 dark souls 3 is about to release um i'm a big dark souls fan i've mentioned it a lot of times on the channel as well and i've covered dark souls 1 on the channel i didn't finish that one unfortunately it was during the time i was still like you know in the growing stages uh really early in my youtube stuff so um it was a really that's like one of the bad stuff that I did as well, where it was kind of like, I tried to play a game, even though I really enjoyed the game, I tried to play a game well, way beyond its um, shelf life on YouTube, where all the big channels that are like the big, important channels that covered Dark Souls already done so, so I started doing it like when, you know, the game was basically done ski and we had Dark Souls 2 out already and, you know, all the other stuff, so um, I played it for a while and, oh, that went pretty bad, like nobody was paying attention to it, it's kind of like, yeah, fuck this guy, who is this um, guy speaking like this? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, use my halberd and I'm gonna kill this um, gargoyle this way as you will see yeah <laughs> I don't think anybody was there to watch that shit it had the whole Grand Theft Auto 5 effect going on to it as well I played Dark Souls 2 from start to finish though uh, I stuck I stuck to my guns with that one that one didn't do so well as well but I stuck to it man I played that shit from beginning to end because I wanted to I needed to do it you know um, let's see we have user deal a wreck like my video thanks a lot and let's see we have one more video to record today let's see I think we probably have to do a basic or a daily one, right? Oh, the basic's completely filled up. Let's go ahead and do about delicious dragons. Can you imagine that, motherfucker? Like, how much of a badass must you be to be able to slay a dragon and then eat him? Now that I think about it, I've never really heard um, stories about people eating dragons. I mean, of course, you'd have to imagine that you'd have to believe that dragons existed at some time or another. Let me ask you guys, do you think dragons existed at some point or another? Or is it just like a mythical thing? Are we talking about dra uh, dinosaurs? that had the appearance of dragons, I don't know. Chocolate Milk hated my video. Chocolate Milk, why, dog? You you and me have been really cool recently. Why is there a need for hatred, Chocolate Milk? Is it because I gave you lactose-free milk and you're telling me you don't like lactose-free milk? Let me tell you, Chocolate Milk, if I drink lactose milk, I shit myself. I need lactose-free because my bowels don't like lactose. The bowels get angry. They, they flare up and they're like, fuck you, Falcon. Stop feeding me lactose. I am going to shit all over myself. I think that's the reason why Chocolate Milk hated my video. That's the only reason why. Why else would he, what else would he have something against me? I'm a lovable guy. Everybody loves the Birdman, right? <laughs> uh, let me go to sleep. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, um, what were we talking about? We talked about Dark Souls for a while for some reason or another. Oh yeah, because I made the video of it. Uh, let me go and record daily vlogs. So today we're talking about good ethics. Ah, oh, fuck. Shift. I always hold that shift button way too long, you know? Good ethics and posting. Freck. <laughs> I have like Tourette's or something. Freck. Uh, no, it's um, good ethics and posting frequency is what I obviously meant with that. Um, so the good ethics part, I don't really know how to explain that one too well about myself. Like, um, this is more of a question about me. Like somebody posed a question to me about, uh, my ethics as well. I hope they meant I have good ethics. That sounds really good. Thanks a lot for that. I do use profanity in how I, you know, express myself, but, and some people might have an offense, uh, have a problem with that. And that's perfectly understandable. If you're a person that doesn't really care about profanity, I could see where that might be offensive to you. But I personally don't ever go out of my way to be like, whoa, guys, today we're going to talk about some sort of controversial topic and let me launch my own assault against this, um, process of belief or whatever. When it comes to the ethical side of things, though, like, I maintain good ethics because I don't really, like, make it a point to, you know, just bash on something or whatever just because just for the hell of it let me do a video on 
Uh, let's do one more Grand Theft Auto 5. Why not? I'm going to get that one up and running. If it's not doing too good, we'll probably cut it off here pretty soon. Light Souls is doing pretty good, though. I gotta admit, it's actually doing a lot better than I really thought it would be. I'll let you guys read the comments here while I talk more about the um, ethical stuff here. So, I I think that I don't I don't have like a moral compass that purposely is I'm trying to purposely like not step on toes or anything. But I just don't really have a strong opinion about much things, you know. Like, I'm just very open-minded about stuff. Like, I'll listen to your argument whether I agree with it or not. I'll still listen to it and I'll kind of like take your consideration into it and see what it's all about. But for the most part. Um, that's the way I kind of do. Now, when it comes to, like, the YouTube things about ethics, like, um, I don't... I feel like it's really unethical when people go to other people's channels and kind of spam their own channel stuff like that. I've never done that. I've never felt the need to do that. I will tell you this much, though, when I first started, I did do something that I'm not really too fond of anymore, and I'll explain to you that pretty soon. Let's see, um, new tag to record. Questions they never ask. Okay, this is by Marcin Malchusnik. Malchusnikski. Okay, whatever. One or the other. Um, that's gonna be a tag on, right? Let's go over here to do tags. Boom. All I wanna do is with the boom, boom, boom with the zoom, zoom. Now shake that rump. Six and a three. I think we're looking for better editing, though, right? Even though I don't really care about the numbers too much, I do feel that better editing might help here. But maybe it. Now, how about we do? Oh, that's a three and a seven. That's fine. And let's do Birdman Asylum and Light Souls. Now. Um, that's not to say that I, I don't, there's certain things I've done when I first started YouTube that I'm not really too fond of. Now, this was in like active, like, promotion of my channel on other channels, but what I would do, and people still do this, still do this to this very day, and I don't think it's really anything bad about that. Mind you, don't, don't, don't think what I'm saying right now is like a, uh, knock against you. Um, I still don't think it's bad, but I know my intention, what, I know where my intention was when I did this, but I know that people will see it and not think it's a big deal, but, what I'm talking about right now is when I was a smaller channel as well, I used to go over to big channels and leave a comment. And it was like a common, like a funny, like a really funny, it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't like making fun of anybody. I wasn't like insulting the YouTuber itself because that sounds even sketchier. I would just show up in a video and I would watch like a small little clip of it or something. I wouldn't watch the entire thing. They're like big channels, right? I wouldn't watch the entire thing. I just watched like a small little clip and I'd just make a joke based on that clip. And essentially what I was trying to do with that it's not like I was in there like, hey guys, come watch my channel and here's the link or whatever. But it was still like, I, my, since whenever you post on somebody else's comment, your name is obviously linked to your channel, right? So my intention was, even though I wasn't literally throwing my link out there, was maybe some people will read the comment, find it funny, and be like, hey, let me click over here, and then they come over to my channel and check my stuff out. That was my intention. I'm not going to lie about that. My intention was to promote myself but without being like, hey guys, watch my channel, here's the link. It was just basically promotion, promoting myself just by, you know, trying to show my humorous side and people would probably be like, if they wanted to, take the time to click my link and go over to my channel. So I will admit that I've done that. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing though. Atuka Junk, your videos are the best. Rikosia, nice videos. Pulse Sam, real talk. Lenique, great video. Cupson, your videos really make me laugh. Do they though, Cupson? Are you really laughing right now? Are you saying that to make me feel good about myself? Jesus Christ, look at this shit, man. This guy got like a thousand likes over that one. Ooh-wee. Your videos are the best. I guess a lot of people agree with him. Ha <laughs> ha, that's good. Very good. We got $461 out of that one, too. That's actually pretty, pretty good. Very nice. Uh, Carolac. Whoa, great channel. Oh, now you believe it's a great channel, Carolac? After all the months and days of you shitting on me constantly? Now it's a good channel. What a guy. What a piece of work this dude is. Uh, let's see, basic vlog. We'll do one about New Jack. <laughs> New Jack. Um, actually, isn't New Jack a movie with Wesley Snipes? I'm pretty sure. New Jack City, was it? New Jack, New Jack City with Wesley Snipes. Yeah, I do believe it's New Jack City with Wesley Snipes. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about my 90s movies over here as a kid growing up. Movies I shouldn't have been watching at that age, mind you. But that's another story I will, I will digress right now from. Um, so, ethics. I, I never purposely went to somebody else's channel and was like, Here's my link, guys. Come check me out. Help me out. Support me. Link for or sub for sub. I never did that, but I did go ahead to other bigger channels. I left a witty comment in hopes that people would come and check my com or my channel out based on that one. So that's a point where I don't think it's a bad thing. Like as I mentioned, it's only it feels unethical to me if I purpose it was like, hey guys, come check my channel. Here's the link. But if I just left the comment that way, I don't think it's really unethical. But still, I normally like to conduct myself in a because as I mentioned many times in the past, I am I'm a very prideful so. 
I don't necessarily like to ask for things purposely. I don't like to like make it obvious something that I want. Just because I'm really prideful, I really don't like doing that. I just want it to kind of happen if it's going to happen naturally. And if it doesn't, it'll suck, but at the same time, it's kind of like, damn it, I'm just too proud. So, let me go ahead and get a W Brotherhood potion here, I want to say. Oh, you guys still need a few more moons? That's unfortunate. So, uh, other ports of ethics, um, I don't, as I mentioned as well, I don't, um, I don't, I don't, like, take shots at other YouTubers as well. And what I mean by that is that, let me do this, and I don't think many people do that nowadays because there's the repercussion is really major, especially if you're trying to grow your channel. You could be, like, you know, one of those channels that is, like, really controversial and people basically watch you because you're just, like, you know, oh, what is he going to say next, you know, type of thing. But um, when it comes to, like, other YouTubers, like, people always ask me opinions about other YouTubers or in my comments they'll talk about other YouTubers. Like, they'll compare me to somebody else and then somebody will probably be like, oh, yeah, this person's a lot better than Falcon. Or some people will be like, oh, this person's shittier than Falcon because of so-and-so reason. And they'll be like, oh, Falcon, what do you think about this person? I will tell you right now, um, mum is the word. <laughs> and what I mean, oh, I forgot the 69! Obviously nobody's gonna watch that one without 69 on it, for exclamation marks. Are they? Are they? Uh, we'll see once they're done editing. But when people ask me about other YouTubers, or when I'm talking about other YouTubers in my videos, uh, like, with the Tube Tycoon series, we've talked about, like, PewDiePie's and stuff like that, and Jacksepticeye. And I I've told you guys, I won't lie to you, I I I'll tell you, like, vi like, I have no issues with this, because I don't think it's offending anybody, or offending anybody, I should say, but I just don't really like that sort of content. And so I don't watch it. But at the same time, even though I don't like it, I'm not bashing on it, you know? I'm like, I'm not over here sitting like, oh, it's complete garbage, rabble, 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 it's because it's, it's really, it's not. It's not, because obviously if it was, nobody would be watching it. So there's always an audience for whatever's out there, you know? So I don't make it a point to do that because I understand that I can tell you this right now. Well, I'll tell you right now. These are the comments you want to read them out. Go for it, guys. Take your time. Do your thing. I'll tell you this right now. I've actually had a lot of people that float over because like, no, like some somebody like a PewDiePie or a Jeff Seth, the guy, like just big channels that are kind of like more of that certain brand of comedy, you know? Um, they will, they've actually, you know, float over to my channel from, you know, recommendations from other videos. Tube Tycoon alone has done it, and other games in the past that I've played has brought in an audience from other channels. Because, you know, on the sidebar you see the tag, or you see the links to other or other videos that are similar to it. So, people will show up because of that. And I can tell you right now, like, I've had a lot of people come from that sort of community, show up on my videos and be like, Man, fuck, this guy sucks. This guy's boring, blah blah blah. And do I agree with them? I don't think I, I personally don't want to agree with them that I'm boring. I don't think I'm boring, but I've gotten comments like that because they're into that sort of, um, you know, comedy while they're not into my comedy. So that's why I'm saying that I don't ever make it a point to like go after a YouTuber or say like this is garbage for my own reason because I don't like it because it's not about that. You know, everybody has their own taste and stuff, you know, so some people will like PewDiePie, some people won't fact is he's still doing amazing so is he really bad I doubt it because he's doing pretty good but it's all like you know different strokes for different folks so that's another part of the ethical standpoint I like to take on YouTube to where I don't purposely make it a point to be like well let me talk about this guy because you know I don't agree with it and blah 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 I think that's silly because there's always an audience for something out there so I you'll never hear me like you know just because I don't like something I won't say like you know I hate it because of this and this because obviously people enjoy it People wouldn't watch it otherwise. So that's another point of my ethics where I don't purposely try to bash something just because I don't enjoy it. I don't think that's I don't think that's fair to the person, you know. Just because you don't enjoy something does not mean it is not good. And it's a thing that I see really often as well on the internet. Like <laughs> on the internet, because we have the whole veil of anonymity. You know, people could say whatever the fuck they want online. And who's gonna hold you accountable? Nobody. You're behind the screen over here just being a keyboard warrior, being a badass, saying whatever you want, and who's gonna stop you? Nobody, because you know. <laughs> Nobody's in, there's no internet police. I mean, I guess there could be, but is there? Well, I mean, I guess if you report people to the police, but there's I doubt you're gonna get stopped for bullying. <laughs> they show up in your door knocking. Excuse me, sir. We've had reports that you've been bullying online. Is that true? Anyway, um, because you have the veil of the internet, you have anonymity to a degree, so you could say whatever the hell you want. But um, I just don't believe that just because you don't like something does not necessarily instantly make it bad because that's really not the case. So that's the reason why I always have an open mind to like stuff that's not really similar to my channel. I still have an open mind about it because obviously 
not everybody likes the same things. And I've been in the same receiving and at the same part where people show up and they're like, you know, your channel sucks. This is boring, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. You're perfectly okay in your assessment of it. You know, you just don't like it. I don't think it's boring, but it's just not your cup of tea. And that's perfectly fine. We all have different cups of tea. As a matter of fact, if I had tea next to me right now, it would probably be green tea with a little splash of lemon. And maybe that's about it. Yeah. I like, I like green tea with a little splash of lemon. What can I say? This is how I roll, baby. I don't really have it too often. I should. I drink more coffee more often than not. That's the reason why I'm always wired, maybe. <laughs> I never sleep. But that's a different story. Not that, not that tea is caffeine-free. I mean, there are teas that are caffeine-free, like passion tea or whatever. But green tea does have caffeine. Black tea has caffeine. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Are we really talking about uh, teas now, Falcon? Yes, we are. We talk about everything in this channel, dog. And this video, these type of videos anyway. So that's my, my um, thing about ethics right there. I just, mom is the word for me. I, I feel like I'm mature enough. Oh, I know, I know. Really, Falcon, you're mature? Yeah, I know, you smart asses. I feel mature enough that I have like an open opinion about stuff. So just because I don't necessarily enjoy it or agree with it, doesn't mean I think it's bad. So I'm always like, you know, just very hush about stuff like that. So, you know, just respect others the way you want to be respected yourself is the way I see it, you know? Um, and finally, posting frequency. You know what? That is really up to the person. If you could do 10, 20 videos a day, go for it. Um, who's the guy that does that? Um, dark, 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 dark side, dark side. DSP. I forget what I forget the name. Entire name is DSP. I think I forgot the last part is dark side pill, pill, whatever. Um, this dude, um, I've seen, I know him because I've seen, like, um, people complain about him, so I've checked the channel out, and it's, I've seen videos about him, and they're kind of funny, uh, I'll admit, they're actually really kind of funny, uh, but again, you know, it's, everybody is, there has their own, you know, things that they are into and not, let's do a video about Blue Pizza, my god, that sounds like a really bad idea, don't ever eat Blue Pizza, if you see Blue Pizza, avoid it by all means, um, but yeah, I've watched, um, you know, like, I guess, parody videos of um this dsp guy and i gone over to his channel just to check it out and just check how truthful it is or not but this is a guy i'm using as an example who posts like fuck man i, I checked it out like probably a couple of, like a couple of weeks ago because i saw one of those parody videos um he posts like fuck i want to say like i saw like 30 videos in one day or like 20 like it was like a certain amount like the entire when you go over to the videos tab of somebody's channel it'll tell you like you know it'll show you all the videos in the last couple of days like his video tab showed like um, the entire first page that shows up when you do video tab, if you're looking at a desktop computer anyway, um, it showed like all that screen filled up with videos that said one day ago. And I was just kind of like, how is that possible? How do you record that often? How do you have so much time? But I guess he's like a full time YouTuber, so he's got the time to do that. But um, yeah, that's an that's a example right there. I'm not, it's no knock against him. If he could release 30 videos a day and people watch him, then hey, kudos to you. But it varies by person, is what I'm trying to say. There is no right or wrong number of quantity of videos. It depends on how you're going to do Like, if you feel that you're putting out so many videos that your quality is dropping, then you might want to stop because you're going to run out of shit to talk about, I have to imagine, at some point. So you kind of have to figure out what works for you, what works for your audience. I personally don't like to flood you guys with too many videos. Like, I still think that three videos a day is a little bit maybe more than I really want to do, but... I still have a lot of stuff happening at the moment that I feel that I gotta keep three happening just to, you know, cover all the series happening at the moment. But the amount of videos, whether it's one a day, one a week, two a week, three a week, whatever, it just really depends on you, how you're capable of handling it, if it's gonna affect your quality, and if people that you are catering to are down to watch it. So, 30 videos a day, which sounds fucking crazy, mind you, I would... I mean, if you're a full-time YouTuber, maybe you have the time for that, but man, if you're doing that... How do you have time for anything else is what I really wonder. But, you know, hey, again, I'm not in that position, so I can't really talk about it. But, um, yeah, depends on whatever you feel comfortable with. There's no right or wrong for how many videos you should post today. That's for a fact. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap it up with this episode here today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support does mean a lot. We'll come around next episode. We're at 16,000 subs, almost 17, almost $5,000. We are doing pretty good over here. Um, keep leaving your comments as, as our questions and whatever. As I mentioned, you could ask me stuff about myself more related to YouTube. Or if you have just some more YouTube-related stuff you want to ask me about, go for it. And we'll cover it here in future episodes. I will catch you next time.